When animating in Maya, it can be often useful to uh, bring in your video reference so you can kind of watch it and create your poses based on your reference. Uh, and when it's in Maya itself, you don't have to worry about having multiple monitors or jumping back and forth or making sure your footage will line up because it'll just line up in Maya. So when we have like a video file here, uh, there's a couple ways we can do this. If you have access to QuickTime Pro, uh, you have one of the easier methods. You can just open up your video in QuickTime. We can go to File, Export, and then we can, under the option for export here, we can click the drop down menu and click Movie to Image Sequence. And then we'll want to click Options just to make sure that it's set to PNG and 24 frames per second. If that's blank or a different number, just type it in. Sometimes your video file will be 30 frames per second, or if you download it from YouTube, often it'll be 25 frames per second. Um, so just convert it to 24. QuickTime will do that for you. You might lose one or two frames just from the conversion, but in general it's not that big of a deal. And then whenever you create an image sequence, you will always want to create a new folder for those files to go into. If you just click like your desktop or something and you hit save, it'll create, you know, a hundred image files on your desktop and it can be really cluttered. So I already did this here, but if we click on the reference folder and then you hit save and it'll export and what it'll do is it'll create a folder here with all of the every single frame will have its own image so we can open up this picture here and we can see each picture has each frame has its own picture uh, the, the other way if you have access to After Effects we can just open up After Effects here, we can go to File, Import, File, and we'll navigate to our video reference and hit Open. And then once again, just in case your video reference is not 24 frames per second, as we see here, this video is 25 FPS, we're going to right click on this and say Interpret Footage, Main, and we're just going to convert it to 24, or tell After Effects to read it as 24 frames per second. Then we'll hit OK. And now you'll see right up here it'll say 24 FPS. So I'm going to click and drag this down on top of this button here, which will put it in a new composition. And we can just see our video playing here. Next, I'm going to make sure that you're in this viewport. And I'm going to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And now you get all these render settings. So just to double check and make sure all the settings are correct, under render settings, I'll click that best settings, and I'll see best quality, resolution is proper. I want to make sure it's use comps frame rate 24 FPS. And I'll hit OK. Then the output module, I'll click lossless there. And here's where we'll change it to an image sequence. So by default, often After Effects will set to AVI or H264 or QuickTime. We're going to click PNG Sequence and just make sure it's RGB and that the video output is checked. All the defaults should be just fine. We don't need these other two things and we'll just hit OK. And under Output 2 I'll click Not Yet Specified and I'll navigate to my folder here. So I've got the Image Planes project folder and I'll double click Assets. Once again, make sure to create a folder for those images to go into. I'll double click that to make sure it's saved in here. I'll hit save and then we'll hit render and in a matter of seconds depending on how long your video reference is it'll output. I'll minimize this here back out to this assets folder and we've got this new reference folder that I created and inside are all the image sequences and now what we can do is we can import these into Maya and uh, animate on top of it.